Hey everybody, Sarah here. So today we are going to finally be doing the book review for this book by Mike McEachern. Honestly, I'm so excited about this book. You guys know I've done some books by Mike McEachern before, at least one of them, uh, and it did not get a super great score, but I want to talk about this one today. He has so many, there's a whole list on the back, but we're not gonna get onto those, we're gonna get to this one. Before we do though, I want to do the giveaway for the last book review that we did, which was Don Soderbergh's book, Corn Snakes in captivity a lot of you commented on that video and thank you so much for doing so once again i don't know where my hat is so today i have a little bag that has all little names in it and so i'm going to pull out a name and if i pull your name as long as you're in the u.s you get this book for free shipped to you for free if you're outside the u.s you'll just have to pay for shipping and we can arrange that just shoot me an email sarahsnakeshop at gmail.com it's in the description below and let me pull out a name have them all folded up tiny this time so that they would move around in the bag a little bit. All right, Haley White, I believe, yeah, or Holly White, I'm sorry, Holly White. So if Holly, uh, if you're watching, send me an email and we will arrange getting your book to you. I also want to take a minute to thank all of the members on this channel. You guys help make this channel possible. And all of the membership money actually goes to buying these books. Uh, when I first started this, I didn't have any members, but now that I do, I'm actually able to continue collecting these books. And trust me, there are tons of them, not just the ones by Mike McEachern, of which there are many, but there are so many other corn snake books out there. And so you guys help make these videos possible. Thank you so much to uh, Frankie, Zoe, Moncros, uh, I think that's how you say it, or Monosaurus, I'm sorry, Monosaurus, Rex, uh, Casey, Jelly Dots, Melissa, Raul, Daniel, I'm sorry I'm looking down here, but I'm going to list you guys over here, Black Tongue, Amy, Bridget, William, Robert, other Amy, and April. Thank you guys all so much for being members. Our membership just keeps growing. Uh, you guys are the neonates, which uh, kind of on the surface I realize may sound a little bit like an insult, like your babies, but um, I decided on neonate because that's what we call baby corn snakes in the trade. And so thank you guys so much for being neonates. If anybody else would like to be a neonate, you can click join under any video is $2 a month. And I do have exclusive content for you guys. I put out a new video exclusively for you guys every single week, uh, whether it's a new snake that I I got and I want to show them off or um, the all of the egg laying videos and anything like that. You'll also get access to all of the live videos on this channel after that live is over. I also want to thank Reptilinks for sort of sponsoring this channel. Uh, if you guys use my code at reptilinks.com, the code is sarahsnake27. It gets you $5 off and it also helps the channel grow. You guys know that I love Reptilinks. I've always loved Reptilinks and I think that they're a really great choice if you don't love feeding off rodents to snakes. And so I uh, I'm just gonna put my link over here. I'm also gonna put a link in the description if you just wanna click it instead of having to type the link in. That link in the description will just automatically put the discount code in for you. I also have a $100 money back guarantee, so if you're not satisfied, you're really not out of anything. Um, if you get a $100 order, they'll refund the entire order for you. Now onto the video about this book. Now, just a reminder, our three criteria for books are one, how good or accurate is the information, especially for the intended audience. We've, I've kind of added in the for the intended audience on the end of this one, because a lot of these books uh, sort of portray themselves as being for beginners, but then they have all these like very dense detailed things that uh, beginners are not really gonna be able to understand and they don't really go out of their way to explain those things. And so I think that it's important to consider the intended audience when talking about these books. Number two, how easy is the writing to understand from an English speaker's perspective and how good is it written overall? Is there a lot of typos? Uh, does it make sense? Stuff like that. And number three, is it as advertised? If it says it's the complete guide for something, it needs to be the complete guide. Uh, however, if it doesn't, then we don't need to worry about that so much. Each book will get a score between one and 10 in each of these criteria, and then we average it to get the book's average. And I like to have whole numbers, so if we end up with something like 6.7, we're gonna round it up to a seven. So with this book, we're gonna start with how accurate or good is the information, especially for the intended audience. Uh, and we can pretty much assume by the small size of this book that the intended audience is mostly beginners, but it doesn't necessarily say beginners. It pretty much just says keeping and breeding corn snakes, and I can guarantee you that it definitely delivers in that area, for sure. 
This book is going to get a 9 out of 10 in this. I honestly do recommend this book, especially for people who are actually not beginners. I read this book and learned a lot about a lot of things, and I'll get into the details of all of the like specific things in the book at the end of the video, uh, things that are good and bad in the book, uh, but I just want to go through the criteria first. But I honestly think that this information in this book is amazing. Uh, it doesn't go over everything that I would go over if I was writing this book, but it also goes above and beyond in other areas. And of course, the age of this book is also a factor. This book was published in 1991, the year I was born. So um, it, like me, is old. And frankly, a little out of date. I mean, do you see this makeup and hairstyle? We're all out of date in here. The second one is how easy is it to read for an English speaker and how good is the grammar and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that stuff typically isn't that important, but when we're talking about books and book reviews, that does play a factor. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 in this category. There's a lot of places in here that are very, very dense, and so again, if you're a beginner, it may kind of get a little boring. There's a lot of technical stuff in it, uh, which to me is fascinating, but again, um, the book does seem like it's more for or someone who's a beginner, maybe just wants to buy a corn snake, raise it, own it, maybe is a beginner breeder. Uh, and of course, like I said, experienced breeders are also going to get a lot out of this book as well. Like you, somebody, everybody's gonna learn something from this book. Like there's so much information in this book, even though it's tiny, there's a lot in here and it's great information. But there are a couple of typos and you can kind of tell that maybe there wasn't an editor or if the editor, you know, maybe the editor wasn't like as good of an editor as it should have been. So for that, it gets a couple points off. Plus it being a little bit more technical and a little more dense than I would like. It's not going to quite hit that super, super high score, but still that's not bad. And the last one, is it as advertised? Once again, yeah, I would say it pretty much is. Um, I would also give it an eight out of 10 in this category as well. I would say it is very much about the keeping and breeding of corn snakes. I would say it focuses a lot more on the breeding aspect than it does the keeping aspects. But uh, when you have one, you kind of have to have the other. And so um, I would say this is more for corn snake breeders. Um, I would say that corn snake breeders are going to have uh, get a lot more out of this book than just a typical keeper. Uh, so if you are a corn snake breeder or an aspiring corn snake breeder, I would definitely, definitely highly recommend this book if you don't have it. It's actually really great for that. Um, not so great if you're a beginner, not so great if you're just a keeper. So uh, for that reason, it's again, not going to get that quite 10 out of 10 but it's still an amazing book. It averages out to be an eight out of 10 book. Amazing little book. I honestly really love Mike McEachern's writings. And even though these books are a little bit older, they, I, I learn something every time I read something by Mike McEachern. So I definitely, definitely recommend if you want a really good book, comment down below and I will be giving this book away next month with the next book review. And if you're in the US, you can get this book for free. I have some notes written in the margins and stuff like that, things that I I uh, kind of had to mark up like, oh, this is a typo or this isn't correct anymore. It's outdated information, but still for the majority of the information in here, it's going to be amazing. And I want to go into all of the details. Why now? So in the very beginning, it basically teaches you how to sex corn snakes and then some basic picking out a corn snake and pairing corn snakes together and stuff like that. There's really no like genetics information in here. So there's really no morphs or anything like that. It doesn't really talk too much about the actual genetics, how to pick a mate for your corn snake if you're trying to get certain morphs. Like there's really nothing like that. It is very much based on the care and uh, the breeding aspect. So I guess in that way, it really, it really does kind of deliver but um, it really doesn't focus so much on the sort of personal aspects of this hobby, if that makes sense. It's very much the technical aspects of this hobby. Um, so there, it does show there's diet and how to sex them and things like that. The very basic stuff that you're going to see in most of these care guides. It shows you how to set up the enclosures for juveniles and adults. I think it's a really great like thing to kind of go over. It's very brief. And also in the very back, it does briefly, very, very, very briefly go over some of the ailments that corn snakes can have. And so that's also important to have in a book like this. But the thing that I wanted to highlight the most is all of the sort of research type information that he has in this book, which is blown me out of the water. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm not going to show you all of these graphs. You'll have to either get the book for free by commenting below potentially or buy it yourself. I think I just got this on Amazon pretty cheap. 
I do want to show you a few of them. So for example, he has graphs on hatchlings gaining weight as they age. He has a graph of when the snakes shed based on their egg laying cycle and just like a ton of other graphs that are really incredible. And I just, I've never seen this information or any information like this literally anywhere else. So I genuinely love the research aspect in this and I learned a lot. And because he's so technical, this really does read like a scientific journal or a science book, something like that. So if you are a very sciencey person like me, you'll probably read this book and be absolutely fascinated and captivated um, especially in the second half of the book where he goes over all of this data that he's collected over however many clutches however many females however many breedings however many males the percentages of fertile and infertile and the percentages of weight loss and weight gain over a certain amount of time there's so much of that kind of stuff in here and I absolutely love it and so it is up there with the books that I, I genuinely love and enjoy there's been very few books in this series that I really disliked, uh, but I was actually really surprised that this book got as high of a score as it did. There's, like I said, some outdated information, but it's an old book. It's gonna happen. I mean, it's a 30 year old book. So that's gonna be it for this book review video. I highly recommend this book. Uh, if you would like to win it, again, you can comment down below. Your name will be entered in a hat and drawn next month when I do the next book review. And that book review is going to be on this book that I just pulled randomly out of the box, uh, Corn Snakes and Other Rat Snakes. Now this book is, only, I'm only going to be reviewing the part of the book that is on corn snakes. And so if you are someone who is interested in both corn snakes and rat snakes, and you want a book like this, uh, remember I do give these books away for free after we're done. So stay tuned for next month's when we go through this one. Most of the other books that I have are strictly corn snake books, but this one was on the top of the pile, and so this is the one we picked. So I want to give a huge thank you to anyone who gave me well wishes with my surgery. I'm still in some pain. It was a surgery in my jaw. I was getting an infection in my jaw and they had to remove some stuff. Um, long story, not going to get into it, uh, but I have talked for, well, what appears to me as being 17 minutes. Uh, but it's probably less for you because I've had to pause during this to um, let the pain go away a few times. Uh, but anyway, thank you to everyone who has had well wishes for me. I am recovering on track. In fact, I'm recovering better than they expected an old 31 year old like me to recover. So um, everything is going great. Hopefully by next week, I'll be back to normal and most or all of the pain will be gone. Uh, and I will see you then. Hopefully that will be a morph deep dive. That's the, that's the idea is that next week will be a morph deep dive, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.